we talk about response times, we did earlier six minutes. Can you imagine how difficult it is to hold the breath for six minutes? So there's a, definitely a sense of urgency on the responders to get suited up, to get on the river, to be effective as fast as possible. Oh, absolutely. Um, and we're more than happy to provide that services, but we'll start all over again. Oh, nice. Train with this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so ask the question more time. So. Yeah. I was just going to ask you to elaborate a little bit more on that. You know that there's somebody out there in the water somewhere that needs to We We become very focused. These are high risk, low frequency events for us. So because of that, we do a lot of training. We try to get out on the river as much as possible as we see today. When we're out there, we're wearing all of our personal protective equipment. And when folks come out to recreate, they're not wearing anything. So we encourage the use of a life jacket that's provided free by the Sacramento County Parks and by Metro Fire. And if you can look at what we're wearing, you can imagine what is necessary to be out here. I want them to have fun, I want them to be safe, and I want them to prepare for the day's event. Remember, it's going to be hot and the water's very cold. It's that temperature differential that causes people a problem. They get real hot, they get in the water, and that cold water then causes a problem. Then when you mix in the fact that they may have been drinking all day, then that's an absolute recipe for disaster. Well, it's not specifically about me as much as it takes to be an effective rescuer out here. We have in excess of 85 hours of training probably just to get in the door to be here. And then we're training uh, 40 hours a month in all sorts of all sorts of disciplines. But we're probably out here in force at least monthly, 10 to 15 hours a month per uh, individual. There's San Juan Rapids. There's uh, all sorts of uh, physical features out here that uh, people that are local give names to. So not only do we need to know the proper names or the names given by the county, then we need to understand local slang. And that changes from uh, year to year. Well, the big thing to remember is, is that they've got to plan ahead Wear your life jackets. If you have a child under 13, count your ordinances, you need to have a life jacket on. And just be prepared and do the smart thing. As when folks started to mix uh, high temperature, super cold water, and alcohol is usually when the problems happen. Have you ever been on a where you thought, where you walked away from the point you know, I made it as fast as I could, I was about to save this person, but you know what, it was just too late. I've been on several calls where we have been on the water training. Our response time has been within minutes, and upon our arrival, they're already under the water, shoved by current pressures down into the catacombs that exist down underneath the San Juan Rapids. And there's nothing we can do unless individuals take personal responsibility and take care of themselves. The number one way to do that is wear a life jacket. And on the flip side of that, have you ever had a rescue that was really satisfying the way that I've been part of a rescue. Remember, it's a team effort. It's not just about uh, the individuals that are here. We had a family of five stuck up on a uh, up on an island or a bridge abutment on the on the fish ladders. They were unaware of the area, new to the area. Uh, we were able to get all of them off and included uh, three little kids and a pregnant mom. That was very good. Good, perfect.